Hi, welcome back everyone. Today we're listening to more music here on this channel. We're heading to Lithuania today. Uh, the Roop is the, is the group who are we who we are of course familiar with from last year. And the song is called Discotech. And I think that before I just get going, I will start by mentioning that this is the music video that I found because uh, I think you all know by now, but I really do more enjoy listening to the studio cuts of the song so I can really delve into the production. Uh, so that's what I'm doing here. I've noticed that it's a little bit longer. It's 4 minutes and 20 seconds, but hopefully uh, it won't be too much of an issue. Let's get right into it. And of course we're familiar with this song. <laughs> really good one from last year, I gotta say. I really enjoyed what they had to offer. It's really creative, very well polished. That's, I think, a main point. So I think that I can expect that to happen again with some really strong production. And some rather interesting instrumentation as well, I think they really had uh, last year. So... Heading into the backstage. I'm not really sure what to expect from this song, but I'm, I really just expect good production, solid songwriting, Great instrumentation. I think that's what they're they mainly in, impressed me with last time. It's a very distinct guitar here. It's a nice chord progression. Okay, I feel the rhythm. Some All right, they're kind of hold out on the same chord and it's up. It's a nice transition in the guitar, how it slides up there. It's very nice. This bass lands really deep. We've got some vocal effects. Changing the vocal register. This is rhythmically so strong. So catchy. <laughs> Pan in the... The panning. Very dynamic in the sound design here. Vocal layering is just really out there. Okay. Got the guitar really just in the focus here. This synth melody is quite catchy. Very energetic with the synth bass, just going kind of really, really rhythmically uh, high tempo. I think the melody here in the in the verse is really a great highlight. And I'm liking the guitar arrangement in this song is really good. The melody is a little bit static, I know that's what they're going for, to kind of create that type, but I don't think there's enough movement backing it to really make it super engaging. But it's creative and it, it switches up here, you know, it's more engaging. Rising the chord. And back to the main one. Hmm. I could have get I could have hoped for like a little more chord variation in that segment. Could have elevated higher, but I just think that everything is so dynamic except for the chords, so it could have been a nice match. There's this like some beatbox inspired part. Okay. The kick drum joins in. It's like a bell. It's a nice, creative change of sounds, yes. Sound design here is really good. Like, it's super deep sounds, very bass-inspired. These growly synths are so low that it's really enjoyable. Alright! So is, I'll, I'll just stop it there. Good job to everyone who danced by and editor and key makeup artist and yeah, you get your uh, screen time on the on the general video, not here. Uh, this 
this song, uh, oh, it's super creative, super different, super interesting, and just a pleasure to just sit through and really follow what's going along. Uh, I really do appreciate songs like this that really tries to go outside the box, and th that's what they've really done. Even more so than last year, I think. I think last year had some tendencies of like general pop ideas or whatever you say, but more predictable ideas in it. I think that this one is more unique in that sense. Uh, the sound design is, as I predicted, absolutely incredible. I think that the the uh, growly synths are so mellow in their deep end that it's it's a really pleasant just back backdrop sound to have. And then you have this catchy hook with it's very reverbed and drowned out pluck and then the the melody which is really central um it's structured or like layered very nicely during the uh, during the choruses i think i think however that the the verses are really strong i think that melodically they're really engaging uh, i'm loving the guitar arrangement that they have in the verses uh, the guitar, guitar arrangement in the chorus is kind of cool as well uh but i think the verses is really nice because it's Usually when you have a guitar as the central instrument for the backdrop in a verse, you usually have a pretty standard finger picking. But there is some some sliding in this one where, you know, it it offers an additional melody instead of just instead of just predictably plucking the strings in a manner which has been done so many times before. Here, there is something extra to it. So I always appreciate that when they've done something to make it a little bit different in, in the arrangement there. Um, so that's a big, big plus. Um, I'm not, I, I'm, ooh, I've kind of forgot the general instrumentation behind uh, in, the, in the verses, but if we, if we stick to the, <laughs> the main part of the song, which is the chorus again, it's super energetic, I, I feel, because there is this synth bass that just keeps uh, keeps going so hectically. Uh, it's like chopped up the notes in in very short segments to really just create a constant movement, a constant push f for the uh, for the energy to really be delivered. And it's it's a nice contrast with how the the melody is kind of static during these segments. It's very uh, you know each note on on each uh, bar in that sense. But since you have the contrast of of this hectic synth bass behind it it kind of becomes a good combination of those two. So I think that works. Um, I think just melodically it's maybe uh, loosens a little bit and I think mainly chord wise, it could have been, I mean, I know what they're doing. They're going for a, a rather simplistic songwriting approach in this chorus because it's supposed to be all focus on the crazy dance, I guess, and, and this really memorable melody. But I do think that the bass note and how the chords layer in, in the chorus could have been done a little more interestingly because there is room for that since you've made it a little more minimalistic in, in the melody approach. So I think that there could have been something different there. You could have done some, some um, colored uh, notes to really just emphasize some variation in it. Um, but that's just nitpicking, you know. Um, all in all, really enjoyable and really fun to listen to and and uh, a great great entry i think uh i'm not sure if, if if i compare it to last year i'm not sure which one i prefer but this one definitely stood out more i think and uh this one um it was different but in a really good way and uh i think that's really what they were going for so i hope that uh everyone else is also enjoying this as much as i did uh so do leave your opinions in the comments uh, regarding this song and uh, I'm looking forward to reading it, or reading them, and uh, maybe I will uh, respond to a few, and, uh, and we can. I think that I want some some impressions on uh, on how you stack up on this one compared to last year. I know we shouldn't compare too much, but I, I think that this is an interesting one to compare because unlike uh, what many artists maybe do, they've actually tried something different in this one, and instead of just going for the for a successful formula, um, which I think another country that we listened to not long ago kind of did. Uh, so I, I appreciate this one for, for that more. Uh, anyway, rambling is over now. <laughs> I've done enough of it. Uh, do leave your opinions in the comments and I hope to see you in the next video where I think we're going to Malta, right? Uh, which I think is a, a fan favorite. So uh, looking forward to that. Hope to see you in that one. Uh, take care of yourselves until then. So uh, 